we're back. Test. Got it here. Right. Test. One, two, three. Test, test, test. Now, if you're new to the vlog, welcome. I'm a big runner. There's going to be a lot of running videos on this channel. And 10 days ago, I talked about building a racing schedule. So, excellent. They'll definitely do. So, today's vlog and story is all about creating a racing schedule. So, I look at five points when I'm thinking about races that I want to register for for the entire year. Here they are. The calendar. Number two, why this race? Number three, peak races. Peak races. Number four, yeah, this is applicable to me and I bet a lot of you, you know, budget and awards, budget and awards. Number five, know your strengths, know your strengths. Registration matters. Why does registration matter? Because, and why am I making an, an entire video dedicated to registering for races? Basically, once you commit, you put that money down and as I talked about, races are not cheap anymore. It's like you're all in to make sure you're ready to toe the line in shape. So once you register, then you can reverse engineer your training to fit your, your racing schedule. Um, and I, uh, you know, I talked about peak races and all that good stuff. But Final tip of the day, don't choose all your races in one sitting. Give it some time, don't rush it. Uh, I'm glad I got a start, I'm not quite done, but I'm feeling real good about what I've chosen so far. So, I waited, remember that video that I just showed you was 10 days ago when I put out on the kitchen table all that big piece of paper which is now hanging behind me, all the races that I've been thinking about registering for. I did not register for them 10 days ago. I molded over, I discerned for 10 days where I was just thinking, can I really do this? Can I put in the training that is necessary to make sure I'm fit? and ready to rock and roll on race day for all of these races that I would like to run, but maybe not all of them are realistic. You know, one of the things that I was thinking about discerning over the last 10 days was, yes, money, I know, I know, but running races have become much more expensive. So on this piece of paper behind me, I wrote down the cost of the race, how much it costs to register, and then, yes, are there award? Is there prize money? Is there award money? So, um, I'm gonna add it up here in one minute once I go back inside to actually sit down and register, and I'm gonna see okay how many races can I afford based on the budget that True Love and I built. Uh, gosh, I guess about a month ago now. I mentioned a mystery race ten days ago to all of you. Right now, I'm going to a wedding this year for Pikes Peak. I can't run Pikes Peak because I'll be at a wedding. So. No Pikes Peak this year. Sad day, but this is life. So, the mystery race for me in 2018, I'm only going to give you the date. I'm only going to give you the date. I'm not going to tell you yet because I am still discerning just a little bit. That's it, folks. All right. Last but not least, drum roll, the final peak race for 2018. <laughs> is the run rabbit run 100 mile running race in steamboat springs colorado i have been thinking about running a hundred mile race since i was 15 years old that's right i grew up near leadville colorado where the one of the most famous 100 mile running races in the entire world takes place and i've been watching that race transpire for 16 years it's time. It's time to throw my hat in the ring and see how I can do at the 100 mile distance. Now listen, I've never run 100 miles. The furthest I've ever run is about 45 miles. Granted, there was about 40,000 feet of vertical mixed in, so it's probably worth about 65 miles. So listen, I've got a lot of work ahead of me, but like I said, I'm not 22 anymore. I think my body is ready for something like this i've been running my for i've been running for 20 years so this is not it's not like running is new to me it's not like it's foreign to me but it is going to take a heck of a lot of sacrifice a heck of a lot of um patience a lot of uh virtue and a lot of figuring out uh the forever pace let's do this people so 
seeking beauty, working hard for the next six months of training, and then we'll let her rip in September. The race, the Run Rabbit Run race, is September 14th. So that is the last peak race. That is the mystery race that I mentioned 10 days ago. So let's work hard together. Keep uh, encouraging me and, uh, you know, keeping me accountable to the core work, to the foundation work, to getting the runs in, and uh, just being smart with nutrition and all that good stuff. So, uh, see ya tomorrow. <laughs>